assassination. You know what's interesting about assassination? Well, not only does it change those popularity polls in a big fucking hurry, but it's also interesting to notice who it is we assassinate. Do you ever notice who it is? Stop to think of who it is we kill. It's always people who've told us to live together in harmony and try to love one another. Jesus, Gandhi, Lincoln, John Kennedy, Bobby Kennedy, Martin Luther King, Medgar Evers, Malcolm X, John Lennon. They all said, try to live together peacefully. Bam! Right in the fucking head. Apparently we're not ready for that. We gotta be the most interesting critters on the planet. And then we wonder why a UFO doesn't just land and say hello. Now, in case you're wondering why I have a certain interest in fascination, let's call it, with torture and beheadings and uh, all of these things I've mentioned, it's because each of these items reminds me in life, every time I, one of them occurs, it reminds me over and over again what beasts we human beings really are. You know, when you get right down to it, when you get right down to it. Human beings are nothing more than ordinary jungle beasts, savages. No different from the Cro-Magnon people who lived 25,000 years ago in the Pleistocene forest eating grubs off of rotten logs. No different. Our DNA hasn't changed substantially in 100,000 years. We're still operating out of the lower brain, the reptilian brain, fight or flight, kill or be killed. Now, we like to think we've evolved and advanced because we can build a computer, fly an airplane, travel underwater. We can write a sonnet, paint a painting, compose an opera. But you know something? We're barely out of the jungle on this planet. Barely out of the fucking jungle. What we are is semi-civilized beasts with baseball caps and automatic weapons.